I'm Ginny Metherall. I'm a fourth generation witch. Today we're going to have a look at the wonderful pagan festival that is known as Mammon. Mammon is the second of the harvest festivals of the pagan Wheel of the Year. Mammon happens during the equinox. Now, for those of you who do not know what the equinox is, it is when the sun is directly over the equator. And this happens in the UK at 13.43pm on the 22nd of September. This is a variable fee, so it can move anything from the 19th to the 23rd of September. And Mabon, in fact, is about a week long because it incorporates not just the equinox on whatever date the equinox falls on, but also the equilux. And this happens after the equinox. The equilux is when night and day are in perfect symmetry, so they are both equally as long. This doesn't happen on the equinox. It's a few days later because it's counted from when the time the sun peaks above the horizon and where in the world you are. So the equilux is on the 25th of this year. This means that Mabon can be celebrated anywhere between the 19th of September and the 27th, I think it comes to. So it's about a week's worth of time which you have to celebrate Mabon. It is not a fixed date, although neo-pagans have bought it in line and saying, well, it is just on the equinox. But our ancient ancestors would have celebrated at any time at the end of September. Mabon is the second harvest festival of the year. The first one would have been the grain harvest at the beginning of August, which we called Lunasa. And our pagan ancestors would have celebrated the god Lu. The third one is Halloween or Samhain, which is when everything has been bought in and stored and prepared for the winter, the darker months ahead. So this harvest festival, the Mabon one, therefore has lots of different names. It's known as Harvest Home, Harvest Supper, Growing up in the UK, you might have associated with going to church and celebrating Harvest Festival. This is a very modern interpretation of the pagan practice because it was only invented by a vicar in Cornwall in the late 1800s, 150 years ago. He invented it as a way to stop the pagan expression of thankfulness and the you know, collective rites that were going on and bring it more into a Christian format and hence it's been adopted by the rest of the UK, especially as the Harvest Festival in church. Before then, it was never a Harvest Festival in church. It was Mabon. So this festival can be looked on as particularly pagan. Across the pond in the United States of America, your American Thanksgiving, which is the last Thursday in November, is it not? That is a very similar festival to this one. You tended to have a later harvest and it was celebrated a bit later than ours. But it's the same sort of thing, you know, that the Pilgrim forefathers celebrated the gathering in of the harvest with the help from the local tribal people. And the tribal people would have had their own harvest festival. It was very much a pagan, I mean literally world over festival and as a result I feel that we should all celebrate this festival because it's such an important part of our cultural heritage. You don't, I mean literally you don't have to be a witch to celebrate this festival do you? You can be anything, just anything, you're just saying thanks. It is a time of gratitude, gratitude and thankfulness, the fact that the earth has given us all this bounty and we can survive through the upcoming dark months. Mabon is often considered the start of autumn. Witches have been in autumn since the beginning of August because, as I say, it's the energy of the world that is autumnal as opposed to just, you know, a date in the calendar. And autumnal energy is all about setting seed, ripening and gathering in, you know, growing big and growing fat. That is what autumn energy is about. It is also a time of balance. The light is balanced with the darkness, and this is reflected in our practice. Our ancient Celtic ancestors would have it as the god Lu, who we celebrate at Lunasa, is now in his last throes of life, and he's about to give over this life to the Kyliak. The Kyliak is the old hag, the old crone, or the maternal mother. This is when we, us female witches, are coming into our own. The old gods had the summer being reigned over by a male deity. And in the winter, 
it's reigned over by the female, the nurturing, the mothering, the helping, that wonderful, comforting energy. So, female witches, or those who identify as female witches, this is coming in to your time. This is therefore quite a big celebration for me. I do enjoy the Mabon time of year. With the balance, you get a lot of calm. It's almost like the eye of the storm between the gaiety of Lunasa and the chaos that is Halloween or Samhain. So this period here is when we can just reflect and look at where we want to tip that balance of the world into our favour. At the moment, everything is equal. But we can choose which way we want to go. Is it up or is it down? So this time is a great time to use it to reflect on where you want to go for the next six months. Setting your plans and setting your goals should be a really big part of Mabon planning. Group rituals for this time are also involved in that. And in fact, I think my coven is going to be doing a Mabon ritual this month in order to celebrate and balance and tip the world into our favour. We're going to use the weight and energy of the world as it moves round to tip that energy into our favour. And this is so it's a great time of year to be doing this stock take and gratitude. It doesn't matter if you're pagan, you're witch, you're atheistic, you're Christian. This time really should be given up to gratitude and thanks. And so that is why I wanted to take you on a little trip with me to see what my neighbours have been up to. This is an ancient pathway leading to some old woods, which is just down the hill from us in the Black Downs in Devon. And I've brought you here because we have to go quite far into the woods to find what I'm looking for. Oh, my very... Very goodness. This is a shaggy ink cap or judge's wig mushroom. Oop. Uh, oh, oop. Ah, uh, damn it. I was going to eat it for my lunch because it is one of the finest mushrooms known to man. But it's already been eaten. So I'll let it spore there. These ancient trackways are really part of our cultural heritage and this one leads to somewhere quite special. It is here that I've come to and this is an old beech tree or rather two old beech trees. These are worshipped as part of a shrine to the old gods by my pagan neighbours and I thoroughly approve. These two beech trees share the same root system and are therefore known as marriage trees and are a perfect place to have a shrine. And this is the reason why I've come. It's in order to lay my Mabon flowers and the shrine of these trees at the altar of the old gods. And so I'm going to use my Mabon posy as a thanks to the old gods and lay them on their altar to this the shrine of the green man. And thus I fulfil my Mabon obligations. If you want to join me in celebration of these rites throughout the year, why don't you come and join one of my retreats? Go to ginnymetherill.co.uk for all the information. For those of you who think that it's a bit expensive to uh, join the retreat, maybe, because, you know, uh, it is. It's not a daily occurrence, it's a treat retreat. For those of you who think it's a bit expensive, why not go for the cheap, cheap, cheap option and help me buy a new camera? Because I dropped mine last month or whenever it was, three weeks ago, and now I can't really film any good videos. Um, here is a video I tried to film yesterday for you about ley lines. And you can see, it's really rubbish because I don't have the right equipment. Please help me to get it so I can go out and I can refilm this particular video about local ley lines, which I'm sure you'll be interested in. For you, go to raffle.com forward slash Jimmy Metherill and buy a raffle ticket. One to one sessions with me and a mini witchcraft course is on there up for grabs, and the tickets are only £1.50. Bargain! Bargain! But otherwise, if you'd like and subscribe, that would cheer me and help myself. And I will see you all 
my next video. If I can make it, if I can get a camera. <laughs>